Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create table in Kusto, how to drop table in Kusto, and then finally how to rename table in Kusto. These are very important uh, topics. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, uh, what we have here, uh, here is the definition or the way you can create your new table. So you will say dot create and then uh, say table and then uh, your table name. In this case, uh, we are creating customer table. Then you have a small uh, parenthesis opening. Now you can have uh, uh, that's where you're going to start with the column names. Uh, so you're going to have a column name, then you have a colon, and then you have data type. Uh, you will have a comma after that, and then go for second column. Uh, here is the customer name, uh, that's our second uh, column. Uh, then uh, I'm uh, putting colon here and data type string. Uh, you will use comma and then go for the third column and then uh, you can go for the fourth and so on. At the end, uh, you will close the small parenthesis. Uh, in this case, uh, if you see, notice that uh, I have uh, put uh, the uh, column on each of the new line. That's not important. You can always uh, go back and if you want to do something like this, uh, you can have that. Uh, it's not a big deal. Kusto is going to understand that. Uh, it can have all the list of the columns in one line or you can break them uh, into multiple lines uh, when you are writing this. Uh, so it's, this is not going to affect anything. Then after uh, the closing parenthesis, uh, you are going to use with uh, and then you are going to use a small parenthesis opening co uh, doc string and then uh, you will would like to put maybe some descriptive uh, text uh, or information for your object or entity and uh, here I'm putting this is a customer table um, this can be useful in some of the applications uh, where you can uh, see this uh, doc string information now if you would like to arrange your table in some uh, folders here as of now we have a uh, couple of folders here such as a uh, customer data is one folder Europe sale is another folder and all that so if you want to put these guys in some folder let's say customer data and or you want to create a new folder let's say customer data 6 you know that's totally new folder we don't even have this one if it is existing it's going to put that table there if uh, this uh, folder does not exist uh, it's going to create that folder um, so that and then you will uh, close the parenthesis you will put double quotes around uh, the folder name and also around the uh, doc string let's go ahead and create our customer table so this is how you will be creating the table once uh, you run the statement is going to give you this one liner at the end uh, that will show you the definition or schema of the table uh, and then show you the database in which the table is created uh, also show you the folder in which uh, this uh, table is created uh, and then finally it will show you the doc string uh, if you want to see a list of the tables and uh, you can always uh, say dot show tables in that uh, uh, the database so once you do dot show tables it's going to show you list of the tables in existing uh, database where this query is executed so let's go ahead and see right here this is our customer table and uh, you can see the database name tech Brothers db you can also see right there and this is our pretty name for this uh, database uh, here is our uh, doc string uh, so that's uh, our newly created object uh, okay so this is how you will create the table and now if you want to see the schema of this table there are multiple ways that you can say dot show table and customer schema as json uh, so execute this and now it's going to give you a complete json of your table so you can see every column and data type used for that table also you will see folder and doc string information now next step is if you would like to drop this table so before you even do that, let's see which folder is the uh, customer data six. So go to tables here and see right there the, ta uh, the folder was created. And here is our customer table. And uh, in the customer table, we can see the definition of our columns and data type. So customer ID, integer, string, string, and integer. Uh, that looks fine, but uh, now think about that. We just want to drop this table or we would like to drop multiple tables so that's possible what we can do here we'll say drop dot first you will say dot drop table and table name so i'm going to execute this statement it's going to drop our table and then return us the list of the other tables see customer table is not there now if you are interested to drop multiple tables that's possible in single statement as well you will say dot drop table and list of the table names in this case let's say a customer customer area so 
a customer I would like to drop as well and then a customer Asia and customer Europe I would like to drop so these three first table I would like to drop so dot drop table and then list of the tables name so with a comma separated each of them so see right there what happened it is in dot drop tables okay so it should be probably tables now let's see if we execute this statement still if you want uh, hmm what exactly is doing uh, wrong here let me see let me rewrite it and uh, let's see dot drop tables and then uh, what we will do we will provide a customer second customer Asia and then third uh, what we would like to do customer Europe okay so I'm gonna go ahead and execute this uh, statement and let's see what happened it's still giving us some errors in uh, dot drop tables let me see if it, ex it is expecting us uh, uh, parentheses around this uh, list of the tables uh. so I'm gonna go ahead and execute this uh, statement and see if this works for us uh. Okay, that worked. So what we were missing in the drop tables, if you want to drop, you have to put the, the list of the tables in the parentheses. So that's what we need to do here. So see, after running this statement, it dropped those three tables. Also, it is show you, showing you the existing tables which are existing right now after the deleting these three or dropping these three tables. Now we can do always dot to show tables that will give us a list of the tables. So this is pretty much the same what uh, we return after the drop table. Okay, now the question comes to what if you would like to rename a table. So here is our uh, table called customer new and we would like to rename a and uh, let me see customer new and I would like to rename this to the customer only. Okay, instead of a customer new. So I will say dot rename table that's the syntax that then provide the existing name of a table and then to and then to the new table name whatever you would like in this case we are renaming customer new table to the customer table so let's uh, execute this statement and now this is executed and we can see customer table right here so it has a renamed customer new has a rename to the customer also once it's done it is giving you a list of all the tables so you can see right there okay and here is our customer uh, table see right there okay so this is how you will rename the list uh, sorry this is how you will rename the uh, existing table so in this video what we learn three things how to create a table how to drop table or tables and then how to rename i hope this video will help thanks very much for watching please go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will put all these uh, scripts in the description so you can take from there and uh, learn thank you very much bye